Martin and Roman Kemp's talk show returns tomorrow, but with a difference. It's weekend best now. It's going to be on Saturdays and Sunday mornings. If something's so good, you've got to do it twice. Roman and Martin join me live from Capital FM. Now, Roman, you're actually meant to be on air. Are we going to lose you at yeah. some point during this interview? You've got to run off and do your other job. Uh, no, people are just enjoying prolonged songs for a little bit. Oh, they... whilst we chat. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, good morning to Martin as well. Now, good there's morning. so much to talk about. I was on your show last season. It's so much fun, but now you're doing it on Saturday and Sunday. But I have to ask, this morning, apparently on the radio, you've been doing a competition, have you, between the two of you, uh, yes. about who's more popular? Yeah, well, yep. I mean, can I just can I just point out, this wasn't kind of set up by me. This was set up by the wonderful Sunny J and Sean Welby. And, uh, and and they actually only printed one Team Roman shirt, and I've got that. <laughs> well, I'll tell no, you what. That is, that is not true at all. Listen, uh, it was a fair competition, Ro. Who won? You tell him, Dad. Uh, no, you tell him, Ro. Yeah, yeah, he won. He won by far. <laughs> by far. Do it was a what? landslide. The team here gave me a choice of the two T-shirts, yeah. Roman or Martin, and do you know what? I didn't take a breath. I went for Martin. Yeah, exactly. Oh! Within, like, exactly. literally, they didn't even finish the sentence. I'll have that one, thanks. <laughs> um, now, the, what's lovely is, of course, that the relationship between you two has blossomed in front of our eyes. I know this is something that you two, you know, you, you say, I was watching DNA, uh, the DNA journey that you both did, and in it you say such a nice thing, Roman, that, you know, you used to be his son, then you were his brother, and now you're a bit like his dad. Okay? You, you know, the relationship between yeah. the two of you has changed. Um, Working together on Saturdays and Sundays, well, how's this going to work? Because obviously it was just on a Sunday, which is kind of chilled vibes, isn't it? What are you yeah, going to be doing on yeah. the Saturday now to make it different? Oh, well, we're going to do... We're, you know, Roman and I, it's nice to have that little bit of space to be able to have a little bit more fun. And so what we're going to do this year is put a little bit of cooking into it. And we filmed the show on Wednesdays, so we already filmed on uh, Saturdays. Uh, and we had a little bit of a cooking disaster. Oh, did that you? That you cannot miss. <laughs> Who, now, whose disaster was it? Who's owning up? Now, look, I can 100% tell you, right, that people may be Team Martin, but when it comes to the who, who they prefer making dinner, they would definitely prefer me being the chef, I promise you. Honestly, my dad is, is, is a meme generator in the kitchen. It is unbelievable. Right, tell, right, tell them what happened. I'm right. So basically, we, we start, we, you'll see this, and it's so funny. So, so we started cooking. With, we've got a wonderful chef, Shivy Ramitar, um, who's absolutely fantastic. And we got into like the first kind of first kind of cook, and my dad's trying to, you know, follow Shivy. Shivy's telling him what to do, and he's going, yeah, 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 yeah. And in these moments, my dad really panics, right? I don't know if you saw him on British Bake Off. He cooks buttercream. It's a long story. Um, right. and, and, and so basically, he's like, <laughs> He's chopping up all of the onions. He's putting them all into the pot. Shivy's saying, oh, it should come to a really kind of nice boil now. Like, you can really smell the flavours. My dad's going, yeah, 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 really good. And then I've clocked it, and I've shouted at him. I've said, Dad, you have to tell her now. Like, you've got to own up to this. For 20 minutes, he hadn't turned his pan on. <laughs> so he was cooking cold and raw vegetables. Oh, and yeah, pretending to smell I it. Thought I thought I was an actor, you know, I can get away with this. I'll just make out the pans on. But it was only when Shivy poured the broth into the pan and the pan went... Oh. I thought, oh, no, I've been rumbled. That yeah. sounds really unpleasant. Although, Martin, you should have said you were doing, like, a raw food detox. You just took it off on your own health kick. You could have just got out, got out of it that way. Don't help <laughs> him uh, There was no way I was going to get out of it because Roman was over my shoulder looking at my every move. <laughs> Now, listen, talking of being very competitive, um, Roman, look, we were just talking earlier, a minute ago, about uh, Professor Chris Whitty possibly being lined up for Strictly. I would have thought yeah. either one of you two... I mean, I can't believe neither of you have been on it. You're so ready for it. Uh, I mean, one, I, I don't know how ready my dad will ever be, considering his dad dance moves. Um, <laughs> and, and also, do you know what? We've, the, the Kemps have terrible knees, and this isn't, this isn't an excuse. Um, we have very, very bad knees, and I think it would just be horrendous. You've also, got an injury at the moment, I'm getting up. I, well, yeah, but that, yeah, I've got a pretty bad injury at the moment. I, I'm currently in a boot, which I'll try and show you. Hang on, wait. It's like this. Oh, mate. Right. Um, that's, that's a football injury, but I, I'm, I'm so injury prone that I think if I come from a radio show, go straight into rehearsals, I don't think I'd ever be able to do it, if I'm totally honest. It is honest. hard work, I'll tell you that. Have you, have you been asked? Have you ever tried it, if you know what I mean? Have they yeah, ever said, come yeah. along and just have a go? 
Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, I did the audition thing that they that they do. I, I danced with uh, Karen, and uh, it was it's good fun. But I just know that I I, I know that I couldn't fully commit to it because I've got to do the show. And and I think with those shows, you want the people that can fully commit to it and absolutely smash it. Yeah, I, I love the show. I think it's one of the best shows on TV, but it's not for me. And to be honest with you, it shouldn't be for Witty as well, because he's just going to lose all his credibility. <laughs> he's also extremely tall, which is very hard for the men on Strictly, as far as I understand. Um, now, listen, Martin, I was just saying, I was drawn to tears last night, because it's still on the hub, the DNA uh, journey that yeah. you both did. Um, I don't want to ruin it for anybody who still wants to catch up with it, but um, there was a real sense between the two of you that you really understood your relationship better and how actually, you know, the, the good fortune that has fallen upon you and Roman, but where it came from a really hard background, especially yeah. with your dad's mum. It was really yeah. stunning, actually, to yeah. see that journey. Yeah, it was a lovely thing and it did, you know, there's certain times I think I can't get any closer to Ro, you know, I know him so well, you know, I love him dearly, but that show did bring us that little bit closer together because it showed us what we, where we've come from. And there was this wonderful moment at the end where we find our Nan's grave and she's in a pauper's grave with just a number. That's why we couldn't find it before. And so we find it and we're standing there and we say, can you imagine what my dad would say if he, if he saw us now? And just then in the bright blue sky, this wonderful, massive full rainbow popped out of nowhere in a blue sky, and it was just one of the best moments. It was really stunning. And Roman, for you, I mean, you were very emotional during it as well. I mean, yeah. what I really like about the, seeing you two together is that there's a real... You understand how lucky you are, in a way, to mm. be doing what you do, and it could have all been very different. And I think that, especially for a young yeah. person in the public eye, you've been in it for a long time, to have so little ego and to have... You know, you're not precious in any way, and I think that's an amazing tribute to your dad, actually. I mean, I, I oh, love, I, and I can't thank you enough that, that you're saying those kind words, but I am currently sat with a T-shirt with my own face on it. <laughs> so it may, I mean, seem, it may seem disingenuous <laughs> when I say this, but, um, but to be fair, do you know what it is? It, it's like, uh, uh, look, I, I only have to go on Twitter within a minute and I'll see a tweet uh, saying that I am nepotism personified. Right, but at the same time, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm fully, I, I fully, you know, I always knew the background that my dad came from, and, and my dad was, my dad and my mum, you know, both of them, yeah. um, have, have brought me and my sister up, kind of pushing that and 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 saying, you know, you, you need to understand where this has all started from, and that you have to carry it on. Yeah, and I think, and I think, when having seen, you know, the where my dad's nan came from was just took it to a whole another level, and it, and it is emotional. You feel, yeah. you feel a sense of responsibility. Well, you two you are great what? fun, actually, together. Uh, sorry, Martin, we've got to run. We've run out of time yeah, yeah, now, no unfortunately, problem. mate. No but we, you're going to be on the telly tomorrow morning and on Sunday yeah. morning, eight thirty on ITV. And we may yeah. see Shirley and your sister in the show as well, showing you really how to cook, both of you. I think. Oh, yeah, I'm probably. sure you will at one point, and my brother. Yeah. And my it's going to be a family affair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both, and you better go and play another song now, Roman. I'm sure that yeah, song's finished I've got by to now. Go. <laughs> See you, See you later. later. Right. Bye. 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 See you guys. Aren't they gorgeous, the pair of them? Just lovely, lovely company. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.